What's going on everybody? Hope you are all doing well. Trying something a little bit different here today. Started off with you guys coming along for the journey during the yard sales that I went to this past Saturday. And now I want to get into some of those finds. Uh, really good yard sale day for sure. Found a lot of cool things, so I'm going to go ahead and begin sharing. I suppose we'll start right up here. You see a Sony Walkman that also came with a cassette and a few brand new batteries in there. Two bucks. Cannot go wrong with that. That is uh, setting in a vintage Pyrex bowl. A few condition issues, but one dollar. Going to sell that at one of my booths. Really excited about this piece. Um, I've sold several clocks in the past. One of the things I always look for is the old General Electric. This one right here got to do a little bit more research not exactly sure what it might go for but I only paid ten dollars for this clock actually funny story was it was marked 25 and I was trying to put a bundle together but in the middle of me talking she cut me off and said that she only wanted ten dollars for the clock so I jumped on that this one's gonna be getting thrown online 50 cents picked an old vintage game up this is much like the uh, the uh, Simon game I suppose. Haven't really looked it up yet, but this is a uh, mini wizard game. 50 cents. Can't go wrong. Uh, Love You Lions. This is a little record. This is of local interest. Of course, you know, the Penn State Nittany Lions, real close to where I live. Going to be throwing that in one of the booths. I think I paid 25 cents for that. This thing in the back is super cool, but it does have some condition issues. A little bit of a, you know, a little rip up there. It's got some condition issues in the bottom. I think I paid about five or ten bucks for it. I'm going to be putting that in one of the booths, possibly throwing it online. I haven't exactly decided yet, but a uh, real cool piece nonetheless. Don't want to dig them out right now, but two bucks a piece. We got a Rolling Stones record. We got a Beatles record. Some of the first Rolling Stones and Beatles records I've actually ever found at a yard sale, so I was excited to buy both of those. Those are going to be going into the booths. Right here we got a vintage charcoal can. It is the charcoal scuttle uh, you know really cool piece maybe I'll throw that somewhere online but chances are I'm going to be putting that in one of the booths Miller genuine draft sign just plastic but the lady actually threw this in for free with a, a little bundle I put in 25 cents I remember paying for this this is a vintage grapple game per house or perhaps Krauss house of cards uh, has more information on this I've yet to look it up Seems 100% complete on the inside and it is in real good condition. And last but not least, I am really excited about this. It is a vintage Smurf, I suppose, kind of garden gnome. Super heavy duty, almost, you know, feels like cast iron. I don't believe it's cast iron. Uh, again, these are just things that I have not looked up. Getting ready to do that today after putting this video up for you guys. But super cool Smurf. Almost want to keep them for myself, but I paid, I think, $10 for the Smurf. Sky's really the limit with this. I'm not sure if I'm putting it online or if I am throwing it in one of the booths, but we will see. So this is some of my favorite finds from the yard sales, which you just saw me exploring. And we are going to actually get into some flea market finds now. So we shared the yard sale finds from Saturday morning with you guys, and now I wanted to share some flea market finds from yesterday morning. Busy, busy Sunday on the road yesterday. Went to a bunch of different flea markets, and this is just some of what I got. All mostly a paper haul, so let's not waste any time and get right into it here. First off, we got this Paula Presents a Bachelor Pad, Adam's Eve. This is from 1966, and it was originally supposed to contain 24 sheets. I counted them, and I believe that there are 20, so some of them were used. But I just think it's super cool how each page is different. And overall, the book itself is in really good condition. None of the pages that do still exist are written on. Tried to look this up, but I didn't find much like it. So because of that factor, I'll likely be throwing it online. Next up, we have a very cool photograph right here. A, another little photograph advertisement right here. Not sure if this was pulled from a magazine. I really haven't looked this up yet, but it is a really cool, not you know actual autograph, but really cool facsimile autograph photo. 
we have a few magazine advertisements right here. As you see, this one was originally marked $20, uh, but we got, what is it, the Flame of Barbary Coast. We got this one right here, One Night of Love, Grace Moore. And this one right here is a Conklin's Self-Filling Fountain Pen advertisement. I can see Wally being excited about this one. Big shout out to my buddy Wally, Dakota Treasure Hunter. Let me move these back and share the rest of this stuff with you guys. Uh, before we finish the rest of the paper, picked up a few wooden puzzles as part of this lot that I'm showing you guys. We got a DuckTales Play School puzzle. They're all Play School puzzles. We got a Humpty Dumpty puzzle. And the last puzzle that we picked up is a uh, Grover puzzle from uh, Sesame Street. These are all 1980s puzzles right here. Picked up a stack of these old photographs. Let me flip through them here real quick. Really cool one right there. And moving on after the last one there. We got a nice little stack of uh, cabinet photos. All different subjects. This is one of the ones that opens right here. It's just a, uh, a man in there. We got a couple of the cool arcade facsimile autograph photographs. A whole little stack of other postcards right here. There's a John F. Kennedy, for example. And while on the presidential ephemera, this is a Ronald Reagan photograph. Seems like an original photograph. Not exactly sure who might have took this or what it might have been originally sent with. Uh, a couple other cool photos right here. Uh, not sure how valuable these are going to be, but this was actually stuck in something that I got here. I believe it was stuck in one of the cabinet photos, but I guess these are, what, Ecuador stamps. I actually haven't even took them out yet, but that was just a nice little bonus. I thought these were super cool right here. This is, uh, well, these are both Plymouth related. This is a card that would have been sent to somebody's house telling them that they could get up to a $900 trade-in value. And this one right here is announcing the launch of the Plymouth. First car that dares to break the time barrier. Really cool postcard which was sent out. This was one of the, probably uh, my favorite things of this little paper haul. And lastly here we got a few real photo postcards with uh, some interesting subject matter. But, uh, you know, not exactly sure how they might do yet. Have to research them a little bit further. Everything I just showed you guys here, I paid $15 for. So do the math, you know, figure it out in your head, and uh, you'll get an idea of what I might make. Um, love picking up paper stuff. I've been selling it online on eBay and Etsy and some other places, and as well as in the booths. I sell a ton of paper in the booth these days, a lot more than I used to. Uh, one more find I want to share with you guys, so let's get into that right now. And here it is. Really excited about this. When I found this, I instantly pretty much decided that I had to get it. Actually only paid, uh, I believe, 20 bucks for it as part of a bundle. So maybe it ended up being a little bit less than 20 when you average it out. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to do, but I can see myself putting it at a high price just because I myself really like it. This is an original salesman sample. As you see in here, a bunch of different pencils. Some of these are actual businesses. Some of them are just made up businesses just for the purpose of this salesman sample. Uh, some of them actually say things like sample, etc., on it. And if you turn it over on the back side, it's got you know a price guide, you know, different prices of the different pens, etc. This is the Samco line, that is the brand of these pencils. As you see, this kit is for demonstration purposes only. Look this up in a few different places and haven't found much like it yet, so I'll probably be throwing this online early in this week. I loved it. I still love it. Almost don't want to sell it, but you know, this business is all about continuing to sell stuff, so that is what I'm going to do. What was your favorite find that you guys saw in today's video? How are you doing? And last but not least, I hope you guys have an amazing week ahead. I got tons to list, tons to tag. I got work to do in the booths. I'll be hitting a few midweek flea markets and getting ready for yard sales this weekend. Already started my list, already started my routes. And I will leave you guys with a few more things. First off, please, as always, give it a like over on Facebook at facebook.com slash OUnitProductions. Always share exclusive content over there. 
And lastly, check out OUnitProductions.com. Check out ThriftAndVintageAdventures.com. And check out BrentOt.com. Please check out BrentOt.com. I'm having a blast these days interacting with the community that continues to grow over there. So thank you guys for watching, and I will check back real soon.